In today's video, we're going to show you how to install and use the cell door plugin on an unturned server. The cell door plugin is mainly used to create apartments or houses for your roleplay server. And today we're going to show you how you can set it up. First things first, what you would need to do is go to restoremonarchy.com. Over there, go to plugins. And in the search, just type cell door. This plugin is free and if you have a minute to read all of this, make sure to read everything because this will explain basically everything that you need to know. After that, all you would need to do is hit download. Once it downloads, make sure that you extract it. Once you extract it, you will get a libraries folder and the plugins folder. After that, make sure to return to the server, go files, servers, unturned, rocket. And after that, all you would need to do is open the plugins folder and drag in celldoor.dll into the plugins page. Go back one directory and this time go to libraries. Go back to the libraries folder of the extracted file and drag in oharmony.dll. But we are still not done yet. You would need to put in the UI. So after we install the plugin, you don't have to restart the server yet, but after that, return to the plugin page. And in the description, there is a link right over here and the ID for the cell door UI. So make sure you copy this. After that, return back to the files, go servers, unturned, workshop, download, config.json, and over here in file IDs, make sure you paste the file ID. Make sure you save the content. Also, another plugin that you would need to install is Uconomy. So go back to restoremonarchy.com, go into the search, and over there, as you may see, there's Uconomy and Uconomy XP. Now, Uconomy XP is much easier than normal UAQI because it doesn't require MySQL. But if you want to use Uconomy instead of Uconomy XP because you do have multiple servers and want to share balance or want to also set up Zop Shop, then check out the video in the description below. To download it, it is basically the exact same step as the previous one. Make sure in the plugins you, you drag Uconomy.dll and this one doesn't have any libraries. And then you can restart the server. In the next chapter, we're going to configure the server. So what we would need to do is we need to go to files, we go servers, unturned rocket, and over here, we're going to go to plugins. And over here, as you may see, there's a new folder called cell door. Over here, we can just open the configuration. And over here, there is everything that you need to do for your configuration. The message color is the color of the chat message that is sent by the plugin. Next, we have enable UI. If you want to set this to true, you need to remember that you have to add the required workshop file in the id workshop download config.json before we enable that, which we already did. Next, we have the effect ID. Now, this is the ID of the UI. If you're using the official Seldor UI, just leave this as it is. Also, it is very important that you need to enable the UI. Next, we have default max doors. Now, what this is, is the maximum number of doors that a player can own. If you want to limit players to be able to only own one apartment, then you would need to set the value accordingly. By default, it is set to minus one, which means that there's no limit on the houses a player can buy. Now, let's go over to the limits tag. Now, in order to use the limits tag, you would need to have your default max doors not set to minus one. And from there, you would be able to create other limits. So, for example, for VIPs and other ranks that you may have on your server. For example, if you set the default max doors to one but players with permission cell door.vip will be able to own three doors instead of one so after you have configured your server make sure to save and next what we're going to do is we're going to disable zombie and item spawns which is essential for any roleplay server so for this you would just return to your server go servers unturned and config.json we're going to disable all of the zombie and item spawns this step is obviously not required but you will do it if you don't want zombies to disturb you when you're setting up apartments now this does depend on the difficulty of your server if your server is set to easy then you would need to configure the easy tag and if it's set to normal then you will set it to normal and today we're we're going to go to the normals tag since that is what I have configured my server to be. So all you would need to change is the items, spawn chance you set it to 0.00, .00 scroll down to zombies and then spawn chance you just set it 0.00, .00 as well. After that, save the server, and you can restart your server. So after that, you can join your server and find yourself an apartment or a house. As you may see, there are no item spawns either, and there are no zombie spawns either which means that we have set up the zombie and item spawn correctly. After that, all you would need to do is spawn in the items that you would like. So for example, let's get ourselves a metal door, a metal placard, and some one-way glass. Now, obviously, this is all depending on how you would like to set up your apartments or houses. So after that, make sure you go to the door and place yourself the door. Once you do that, make sure to do sell door and then, for example, the amount of money that you would like to sell the door for. So this door is now sold for $300. After that, you can just put a placard over there. Now, this command should only be available to admins or anyone that may have permission to do this. 
Once you put yourself door hashtag one on sale for $300, basically this is in the database for all the doors. Now basically every door that you place will have its own ID. In order to check what the ID is, you can just do slash check door and who owns the door. So for example, this is door hashtag one and Azwan owns it, which is my character. So basically what this placard is going to be doing is that it's going to tell the ID of the door and who owns it and also the price. So what you would need to do is just look at the placard, type slash link door and the ID of the door, which is hashtag one. And now basically it is completely linked. As you may see, it tells you who owns it and if it is for sale or not. You can also link the window so that it is all to one person. Also, basically what the UI is that we have added earlier is that when you punch on it as we are doing right now, you would be able to see the door ID, the owner and the price. So over here we have Macro who's going to buy the property. And as you may see, the property is now owned by Macro. And it is not for sale. As you may see, I cannot even open the door because he now owns the barricade. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys did learn something new. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or join the Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.